Good morning, my amazing artists. Today, I am not able to be with you, unfortunately. I will get to see you next Tuesday, and I cannot wait for us to get back to our regular art projects. But today, we're going to take a little break and do something a little different. Now, because I am not able to be with you today, you have a fabulous guest art teacher in the room with you. Now, let's go over very quickly my expectations for today. Today, my expectations for you are that you are polite and respectful to not only your classmates, but to our guest art teacher in the room with you. Make sure that you are following all of our normal class expectations, being respectful, raising your hands, and following all directions. Now, we are going to be creating a project today that is based on our moral focus for the month, gratitude. But before we start talking about that, let's get in our art room mindset, just like we do every day with a mindful moment and our mantra. So I want everybody to take two nice, big, deep breaths with me. Breathe in and out. One more, breathe in and out. Good. All right, now let's say our mantra together as a class. I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am an artist. All right, good job, guys. Now, as I said before, our project today that we are going to be creating is based on our virtue of the month, gratitude. Now, gratitude, as you guys have all been learning, is really responding uh, responding to kindness with just a warm regard, um, deep appreciation. Um, gratitude is those things that we are most thankful for. And what better month um, to talk about gratitude than November, the month of Thanksgiving, where we really do think about everything that we are grateful for and thankful for in our lives. So we are going to be creating our very own gratitude tree today. We are going to be learning how to draw our tree, and then you are going to be coming up with as many different things that you are grateful for as you can. We're going to be writing that inside of our tree and ultimately our words of gratitude are going to create our tree. Once we're done, we're going to be coloring. Now, for this project, the materials you are going to need is a piece of paper that you will have passed out, a Sharpie, and something to color with. That could be markers, crayons, or color pencils, all of which are in your table organizer. Now, when you are using those, please make sure you are using the correct materials, the ones that match your color and number, and that at the end of class, you are wiping them down with a baby wipe and putting them away, making sure that they are sanitized for our next group of students that come in. Now, Let's look at how we are going to create our project. All right, my amazing artists, the first thing that you are going to do once you have your paper is you are going to grab a pencil and you are going to write your name and your teacher code. Remember your teacher code, first letter of your teacher's name and your grade level. So write your name and teacher code on your paper and then flip it over. Once you have flipped your paper over, put your pencil away. We don't need it anymore. And grab out your Sharpie. All right, I'm going to give you a second to do that. Grab that Sharpie. Lid on the back so we don't lose it. And then we are going to start drawing our tree. Now, when we are drawing our tree, we are going to start towards the middle of our paper and we are going to draw our tree trunk that ends at the very bottom of the paper. Nice thing about trees, they're all different and unique. So yours can look really however you are wanting. But notice, I drew my line, mine kind of curves just slightly out, 
and then about two, maybe three finger widths apart, but really two is a good, um, good width. You're going to draw another line coming down to make your tree trunk. From here, we're going to start adding branches. Now to start that, we're gonna start with a U or a V, the letter U or V, just slightly above our tree trunk, right in the middle. Now trees branch off into lots of different branches. They section off into different branches. So this is going to help us create those branches. So that U or V shape is right in the middle. Notice it's not touching any of my letters. From there, we're going to add lines that continue kind of parallel or in the same direction of our lines that we created with our U or V. Notice my lines are still kind of hanging out in the middle of the paper. They're not touching anything. I've just kind of continued them out. And then I'm going to add more branches now by adding more U's or V shapes and allowing my lines to continue just like before. So notice there, I could add another shape, U or a V shape, and continue those lines until they reach the edge of my paper like so. Another one over here, reaching the edge of that paper. Then I'm gonna come to this side and do the same thing. There's my V shape, continue my line, Another V or U shape, continuing out. Until I reach the edge of my paper where my branches will stop. Now, you don't want your branches to be too thin. You want them to be thick enough that you can write inside of. So, I have a start for my tree here. Now, on the lower part of my tree trunk, I wanna add more limbs and branches just to fill it in a little bit. So I can come out here, I can start a line, add that U or V shape, and continue those branches. If I get to another branch, they can overlap, which means I'm not drawing through, I'm drawing behind. So notice here and here, I would stop those lines, hop over to my other side, and then continue drawing. Same over here. So what I'm doing here is ultimately filling in my tree just to make it look like I have more branches. I could continue to add more. until I'm happy with however many I want. I think I'm gonna leave my tree there. From here, I'm gonna add some lines at the bottom of my paper to create kind of little mounds or lines for my ground, kind of like horizon lines. Horizon lines, remembering, being those lines that separate the ground from the sky. Now with this, I wanna create a few extras, not just one line. So I'm going to add a couple, just giving a little bit of variety. 
The next thing that we want to do is we want to start thinking about all of the things that we are grateful for. So think about different options, um, things like um, the kindness of others, animals, um, nature, soft pillows, your senses, hugs, a family, rainbows, um, good food, lots of different options that you can use. And then from here, we're going to start writing our words. So start thinking about some of those options, and then we are going to start writing our words down. All right, guys. So now we are going to start writing our words. The first thing that we want to do is we want to write the words, I am grateful. Um, I am grateful for in our tree trunk. We want to use all capital letters and we want to fill up our tree trunk from one side to the other. All right. So fill up that trunk from one side to the other. So start with a really big I, I am. Notice that my capital letters are filling up one side all the way to the other. And then obviously I can't fit the word for in here, so I'm gonna come down here. And I'm gonna write the word for in my branch. So I am grateful for are the first words that I am writing, okay? From here, using all of those different things that you are grateful for, that you have thought about, I want you to start writing, again, all capital letters filling up one side to the other. I want you to start writing those words, filling up all of your branches and these letters are these spaces in the ground, all right? So that could be things like, I'm grateful for my health. Or, I'm grateful for family. So come up with all of your different things. You're going to have lots of space to fill up. And start writing those down. Alright guys, so you can see I have filled in my tree with as many things as I could think of that I am grateful for. So I have things like I'm grateful for my health, being a mom, hugs, um, love, fun. I put um, my husband and my children's name, my dog's name, um, my children. I put my meme all, um, knowledge, home, my sisters, my parents, good food, animals, um, Hallmark movies, because I love Hallmark movies, books, um, color, my students, um, art, teaching, my home. So I have lots of different things that I'm thankful for, and I have filled up all of my branches and my ground making those letters capital and going from one line of my tree or my ground to the other side. Now, my last and final part is going to be coloring. I am only coloring in the negative space. That's the space in the background, all right? I'm not gonna color anywhere inside my tree or ground where I have my words. So you can choose colored pencils, markers, or crayons to use this uh, to color with these. Um, I'm going to choose markers because I think the, um, markers are going to make a really nice bright, um, design that's going to help emphasize my tree, but you can choose any material that you want as long as you are putting them away at the end of class. One thing is you want to make it nice and bright. So think about the different colors you can use. Notice I like to trace around the edge first and then that allows me to color in a little bit faster in the inside and I color in one direction versus back and forth that's going to allow me to color everything in instead of having kind of like little scribble marks left on it so guys go ahead 
grab out your materials once you have finished and start coloring. I can't wait to see these when I get back. Um, you're gonna turn them in at the end of class. And I hope to be able to display these on the wall outside. Um, just really showing what all we are grateful for. All right, guys, have fun.